Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Tech Warfare episode 55 with me, Sid. And I don't know whether I actually caught that chicken just dying as I hit record, but that's why I'm chuckling. Um, so, uh, firstly, apologies for not the uh, for the lack of a stream at the weekend. Um, as I did say in the notification to say that I wasn't streaming, I... Uh, I was building a fence on Friday, and, and in fact today as well, uh, as I'm recording this. Um, but on Friday, I was just I was absolutely knackered. Um, my muscles are aching, um, back aching. You know, it was, it was hard work. Um, and I was hoping that by Sunday I'd be feeling a bit better, but I was still aching really badly, <laughs> uh, surprisingly badly, uh, comparatively speaking. So we didn't actually get to stream where we were going to continue on getting the interior of this building done. Um, and the last bit, which was to probably come down here, I'll put a little bit of stuff outside and come down here to put a little loading dock Nothing major, just a little tiny thing where a boat can set in and, uh, and you know, load the vino that it's making. So, <clears throat> we've got this area down here to do. And then the actual living quarters up here. Um, this is going to be a... Oh, I need some doors. Oh, uh, I may need to go and find some timber. Uh, <laughs> so we've got um, an old storeroom, living room and probably bedroom for the owners and then upstairs the, the servants quarters where we'll use this kind of a mixed storage storage and things this does actually still need lighting properly up here so that that's a thing too now here's a stupid question did i actually bring any wood with me i did not hmm Okay, I need to fix that quickly, and, uh, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, got it. Uh, well, I haven't got the wood. I've actually made the doors. I sure hope I've made enough now. But, yeah. So, um, we got we got you. Actually, I made one door too many. That's even better, then. Uh, let's make sure that we are firm. Uh, there's an issue with lighting there and there temporarily. And we shall place the door here. There we go and also here there we go lovely right let's start off with the downstairs oops that's the wrong button um so downstairs is relatively simple this is going to be a wine pressing area with barrels and and, and stuff and the like so if i place you on here i have got a whole load of bits and pieces um all right what do we need i'm trying to think so we're going to have certainly have some what is it? it's a wine pressing area so we'll have definitely do I, would these be more i mean they're not I, certainly from all the images i've ever seen of wine places they tend to be larger but that that gives us a whole bunch of that we've got barrels 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 and barrels and i also did bring with me some wine racks um not too worried about the chests in here but i would like to use those i think that's about right so first things first let me shift that that really doesn't work there if we were to go and stick a long shelf oops along there maybe there for no reason other reason than I want to and then we can get some barrels and we can stick a barrel there and maybe another one there and then take um, uh, an oak pop an oak barrel up there get a little bit of that going on as well um, hmm. I'm going to stick a, an oak barrel so that kind of gives us that lot going on and then we can get maybe down on the oh wow they were bigger than I thought 
Um, those are massive bottles. <laughs> I mean, those bottles are one meter long. Uh, okay, that lot goes away then. Doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to basically be sticking a whole load of barrels around. It looks that like because that's that's what we got. Mm. Stick a barrel there. That works. And there, and get another one there, perhaps, and then I can grab some of these, and that can go in. Another one there. Mm. Uh, hmm. Yes. Well, <laughs> I appear to have a glut of barrels, and let me just pop that there. Get you upright. So pop one of those there, and again on top. I mean, this just has to look like, you know, a place where people are are making wine. How hard? How hard can it be? He says, plonking down barrel after barrel. Now, the other thing is, we, we can possibly stick. Again, I don't like going mad with these, but. There's no reason why we can't have a cobweb or two. Um, they can go back in. Is there anything else? Hmm. I don't know whether we've got any. Let's just take. I mean, this is just just uh, actually there was one thing, wasn't there? I got packed. Yes. Let me just put that away for a second. I brought you. And you. Is there anything else here that desperately screams to be in the this, this bit? I don't think there is. But we can stick a um, bit of chain in. What the chain is doing, I don't know. But that doesn't matter. It's never stopped me before, so I don't, it's not going to stop me again. And I think, from an internal point of view, that's fine. You're pressing the wine, you're barreling the wine up, you're, you know, decanting it, yada yada. Um, yeah, I mean, I really. The only thing, let me just let's just try. Let me just try one of these wine racks. Because I'd kick myself if I didn't at least try and put it down. I mean, scale-wise, it is completely over the top, but mm. it's too clean. I don't like it. No, we are. We're definitely not going with that. We're going to stick with that uh, and that. Yeah. Right, let's head upstairs and get that done. Sooner this lot is done, the better, really. Right, so what have we got for starters? It's uh, an e uh, odd numbered room. Let's take it rid of you. Get rid of you. Hit the F7. Get rid of you. And you. And you. Oops. Yeah, of course it does. Right, um, so maybe we'll stick a lantern there. That gives us that. Then what have we got? Three, four, damn it, even. What about something, say, like that? Uh, I can work around those. That is in itself not a problem. This um, this room here will go one, two, three. There we go. That sorts that one out. 
just shut that down for a second so living room um, I brought a selection of things we've got an old table that's a, a nice big old styly table maybe like that doesn't hurt um, and to go with the nice big old styly table there's a uh, hmm this is where we hit issues isn't it maybe not to go with that then let's try something else um, we've got a couple of wooden chairs just yeah just go with that I suppose Uh, right, let me just have a think. Have I got any candles? Torches, corrupt lamps, no candles. Okay. I mean, it's not an issue. We'll, we can always stick one of. Maybe yeah. maybe we could have stuck one of those on. Doesn't really work. What else we got? I have got a couple of log sofas. Um, so you know, they, after a hard day at the uh, vineyard, they can come and relax. There's a, a very large coffee table, which does not work at all. Damn you. <laughs> um, I wish there was a way to actually carry um, these things around with us because they I mean that coffee table is gonna that's the only coffee table I've got on me and it ain't gonna work so I mean we can we can come down now I am conscious of the fact that I am a little bit obsessed with things let's put I wonder if I can get away with a coffee table there. No, that's not going to work, is it? Hmm. However, we could, I mean, you know, there's a very simplest thing I could do is just stick a, a lantern over there and a lantern there. That gets this lit nicely. Um, what else have we got? Do, do, do. Uh, I don't know why I brought a furnace actually, that, that seems singularly odd as well. No, I don't, uh, if, yeah, let's leave that as it is and we'll go in with that'll work. For some reason this guy, um, this, this guy is a, a bit of a, a trophy hunter derpy looking deer but there you go and of course if you're a trophy hunter nothing screams trophy hunter better than a bearskin rug yeah maybe not there though maybe that's for the bedroom you know because that makes it look i did bring this along because i thought you know if you are a brewer i still think that is horrible maybe that would because that that could be like your samples and everything um can i can i get this in no all right let's try this the other way deco craft can be a little bit tricksy so if i put you down there I should be able to get that down there. It's a very strange brew. I'm, again, I'm not desperately hooked on half of, half of this stuff, so it can and almost certainly will change. Stick a pestle and mortar in that. Um, and I don't know whether I'll get away with this or not, but we'll try. Yeah, that looks, looks nice. That looks nice. Uh, I don't know whether we'll get away with this one. Let's give it a try, shall we? 
Mm. Adds a little bit of a little je ne sais quoi. Uh, hmm. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, no paintings. I've never been a big fan of micro paintings anyway, so no great loss. One living room done. There we go. Or oh, as done as I'm doing it. Then we've got the bedroom. Um, so we get... Oh. We have an evil wizard. I'll leave him. It's not causing me any harm at the moment. We've got a nice double bed. A nice rustic one, so... Works better like that, I think. Yeah. And then maybe if we can, let's just try... He knows I'm here. <laughs> we'll get him, but not yet. Bedside table. One, two. Uh, weaker screen. Uh, some bits and pieces. A dream catcher. We can even stick the rocking chair in, maybe. I think that. Oh, we got some of this as well. So, first things first, changing screen, because, you know, modesty. Um, then, got a nice wardrobe. Uh, that's two, damn you. Why, why you have to be this way? Dream catcher, hmm, out the window. Maybe a rocky, I don't know if I can get a Don't know why you'd have a rocking chair back there. Sometimes, you know, there is no rhyme or reason for these things. It's just because. Stick a. That works. Kind of as a thing going on there. And. We'll call that done, I think. That's, you know, you can. You can't sleep in this bed, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Some of the deco craft beds you can sleep in, others you can't. Right, let's go and um, just sort out chuckles, shall we? If we can. Um, wow. Tough guy, huh? Not that tough. Oh, hey, hello. The fire mage there as well. Really? That was your attack? Magic missile? Hmm. Let's see what this, if this guy dropped out. I'm not hopeful for the, the actual contents of that book, but you know. Doesn't matter. Smoke bomb novice, yeah. Figured it'd be crap. Right, what have we got going on in here? In here, in here I just want to stick maybe one of those. Uh, and maybe one of those. I don't think it needs anything more than more than that, especially if I stick that underneath the stairs. Just a storage area out the back here might do something might uh, probably won't do but <laughs> right and then up here this is um this is embarrassing amount of rustic lanterns all right i need to go make myself some rustic lanterns i'll get that done back in a second all right and that is pretty much that for the attic a couple of straw beds um a whole load of storage, some cobwebs. I don't think it really requires anything more to tell the story. This is where the servants live. Um, little oddity in the fact that the servants have to go up through the main living area, but maybe they share, maybe they're kind masters, maybe they, they share their living area with the servants, who knows? The, uh, 
the possibilities for this story, of course, of course, are endless. So that leaves us with the the area down here to do, which I think I'll probably just do between episodes of camera. Um, I think we can wrap this up, and in fact, maybe we'll get a screenshot of that. Now, what I um, I'm conscious that I've been blathering now for almost 20 minutes and uh, all we've really done is decorated the inside of that. So this is not going to be a particularly long episode or a particularly constructive episode, I am afraid. But um, it is what it is. And what we shall do is we'll get this put away and then I want to go and just address one of the things on my list of items to do which is certainly the very top two levels of the entrance to the mines because they're just not working out properly um so let's get that done i'll be back in a second all right so we have a, a lot of very unhappy villagers i think part of the problem is i am not sleeping through the night so these guys are not getting there i mean look at him his happiness is absolute rock bottom um, so I need to stop sleeping until 2 in the morning um, so these guys can all get the relevant sleep cycles and become happy. That's when they're not being absolute morons and unable to navigate the simplest of leaf blocks. It's, it is, oh come on, it's seriously embarrassing. Come on, get out, just shift. And then you, oh man. I already had to go and dig them out because they'd managed to get, get lost on the door. I honestly think I need to take all of this, anything where there's this confusion, like that, they're gonna get stuck on that, oh man. Artificial stupidity at its finest. Anyway, I, uh, oh, also, just for good measure, these guys, I don't know why, but, well, now he's going off for food, but they were attacking thin air, both of them. Let's go and see what he does after he's eaten, because there is nothing to attack. Okay, oh, and now he's off, and now he's off to attack something. What? There. Look. Idiot. Repack. I don't know. <laughs> I say artificial. Artificial stupidity at its finest. Um, but then if this wouldn't be uh, a, a, a playthrough of of the nature of this this thing if um, if we didn't have this kind of problem let's be brutally honest let's grab some of that some of that a bit of that that will do us um, so what we need to do is for starters is probably put some pit supports in um, now I'm just going to go I think here with strip logs on this side and that side I think that will do us there and we can just strip those back and then maybe go down every third so one two three and then here again oops hello we'll kind of do this I think and and again strip log just needs to look better than it currently does now that's not going to work that might work though it's a shame we can't a shame we've got stairs <laughs> that's um now i'm not convinced if i do this 
I am not convinced, oh man, that the idiots won't get stuck on that. I mean, it will look good. And I can't do it on that side either because of the rail track. So I think we need to maybe just lose that altogether. I think it was a nice idea while it lasted. But it is, that's all it was, an idea. But we can do something simple like that. Um, and again. Yeah. This one, not so much because we've got the cave entrance, but if I do that and then every third one down, we'll start with that one. Then the gaps here, I'm going to replace a lot of this with, with, um, stone brick. I'm going to leave the cobble where it's cobble, just because we can. And we will uh, vary this up a little bit here, and you know, whack a bit of bit of gravel in, whatever. Maybe even throw a few stairs or something in there, so we can get the break broken up feeling to it. Which only leaves what to do with this now. Just a thought. Do they make that in a different colour? <laughs> I'm going to go and check that out. So we'll vary this up. We'll take this going down. We'll put some lights going down as well. They're not necessary, but you know, we'll do that anyway. And uh, try and make this just look a little bit more, certainly from the top here, down as far as there, down as far as here, and maybe round and down as far as the next one. Um, get that done. So I'm going to get that done. I'll be back in a second. Oh. <sighs> That's about as interested about as interested as I can get in doing this. This really is not a project that I want to do. Uh, I've been putting it off. It's it's better than it was, um, and I'm staying at that. <laughs> you know, there are certain times, certain jobs you just put off and put off, and that was one of them. And uh, yeah, now are you? You are definitely... Where on earth are you going? Oh, Bob, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just need to go and kind of empty my inventory a little bit. And I think next, next episode or stream, um, whichever happens first, I'm not going to commit to anything because I've still got a fence to build. <laughs> Fortunately, yeah, the fence is still there to be finished um, but we have still got a number of items to build that we in the sh in the shop in the shopping area in the actual town there's a, a swordsmith there's a map shop there's a magic shop there's a bookshop there's a baker's and a, ho a honey shop uh, all of those need to be put in place um, we also need to think about windmills we need to have a think about um, immersive engineering actually as well because there is still a lot of fun things we can do with immersive engineering um, one of the things that I kind of fancy playing with if I can find it is the gun turret to see whether we can't have some fun with that around the gates instead of these you know with the best one in the world artificial stupidity NPCs um, so that, that's the kind of thing we can play with. And obviously there's also the things. So on that note, um, I'm going to call this one an episode. It's We haven't achieved a huge amount, but we have finished things off. Now I do need to work on the docks. Um, there's a whole load of stuff we actually need to, to work on. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching, guys. If there's anything you want me to do, any suggestions for builds, stuff we should be looking at, do feel free to uh, suggest it in the comments. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.